So now we're gonna see installing my SQL connector J. And J stands for Java. So to use the MySQL with the JDBC, you also need to install the MySQL connector J. The JDBC driver allows programs to use the JDBC to interact with MySQL. And we are gonna go here to download it. So you can type in pretty much dab.mysql.com slash download slash connector slash j slash. And from here, what we are gonna do is we're gonna pick platform independent and we are gonna, we're gonna pick this one. And if you want, you can sign up, but we're gonna put nothing just start my download. Okay, so we can go right here and it should be done so you can go to the file and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, let me see, downloads, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna extract it, extract old and I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it, where I'm gonna save it, so I'm gonna go to my PC, my program data then I'm gonna go my SQL then I'm gonna go data and I'm just gonna save it here okay so it's gonna be in data and let me see I'm gonna be in data uh, yeah that's fine so we're gonna save it in data okay And it's gonna okay so it's copying some of these files and from here we're just gonna pick one particular file and we are gonna save it in the C disk so this should be very quick so we are almost at 100% okay so we are we are done here and yeah we are in data right now Okay, so I am in my CDs, program data, my SQL, my SQL server, 8.0 data. And now, let me see. Oops, let me see where it is now. I'm gonna go right here, it's gonna be in data. And the connections, my SQL is here. This one, my SQL connector J is in the 9.0.0 so I'm gonna go click it here and I'm gonna pick this one so I just can copy it and I'm just gonna go to my DC and just gonna save it here I'm gonna yeah gonna paste it in my DC and here so it's gonna be let me see okay it's gonna be um my sql like that and now i'm gonna go into advanced system settings so i'm gonna go to environment variables and i'm gonna go into edit so i'm gonna go into path and okay i already have it here if you don't have it, you can just pretty much copy edit and let me see, I'm gonna copy it so you can pretty much put in the file in this case is in the CDs, MySQL connector, the name of the file and the extension is that jar. Then you just click OK. What we are gonna do is we're gonna go to new and we're gonna have a class underscore path and we're gonna go here and we're gonna paste it so we can have it and okay so we have that so far okay so we have installed the my, the connector the mysql connector slash j so from here what we need to do is we can go into i'm gonna go into mysql so my yeah, mysql client and I'm gonna enter my password, so let me see. Okay, let me in. And from here, assuming that you already, I have a video showing you how to install MySQL 
and all the stuff so from here what we are gonna use is pretty much we are gonna if I open my SQL here let me see it's gonna if I go into open connection or edit connection we're gonna go right click and edit connection and let me see no, not this one right click open connection open connection if we go into users and privileges so these are my users what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much uh, let me see we're gonna use my SQL semicolon okay and now we're gonna we're gonna create so we're gonna create user and we're using data so we're gonna use him data like that add local host so that will go is gonna be local host and it's gonna be identified so it's gonna be identified by a data okay semicolon at the end okay so let me see if it updated uh, maybe open it again let me see oops and let me see if they did it for us server client users okay so now i can see i have the data now but we are also what we are gonna have is we're gonna grant so we're gonna grant select oops select we're gonna have insert so update so update so these are the privileges update delete uh, create trap reference references references execute so execute on asterisk that asterisk two and we're gonna have data at local okay local host uh, let me see let me see let me make this one bigger data at uh, okay I need to double quotes here local host and let me see semicolon at the end okay so now we have pretty much created a username data and we have granted all these select insert update all the stuff okay let me see we can open it okay and okay so we can just exit so exit okay so exit that